Greetings, I am Lie. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Yes. Let's shake off the vertigo. vertigo let's, let's not shake up. off the vertigo. <sighs> let's vomit everyone. Let's try and soothe away the vertigo. And relax. Which I think is probably what and they're going breathe. for. Like, I mentally shake off or work out of the vertigo. Yeah. But I soothe away. I calm down from the so, vertigo. I'm pretty sure. And I say pretty sure because I was never officially diagnosed for it. But I'm pretty damn sure that I've experienced extremely bad vertigo off and on throughout the years. Okay. And I will definitely say, please do not shake if you believe you have vertigo. Shake bad. Like, shake very bad. Shake bad. Like, whoa. All right, so like, we're, it's cold. We're in our shop. I nerd go burr. <laughs> nerd go burr. <laughs> nerd go burr. All right, I, and I, I shake off my vertigo and I sit up. It looks like my shop, but it can't be. Everything is cold. And the jars... The jars and counters, rimmed with frost. Aren't they supposed to be two M's? Because that's rhymed. <laughs> I was thinking that too. I hang on. Is it rimmed or rhymed <laughs> with frost? Hang on, I thought it was two M's. Rimmed. I'm going to die. I don't mean to pick on this, but I'm like, you guys. It rhymed. Rimmed. Rhymed. Rimmed. I Hold think. on, we got to fight. I'm we got to learn. Sure. Rimmed. Okay, and what is rimmed. rimmed. It is rimmed form or act as the outer edge or rim for. Has two words. Mark two M's. So what is one M? I need to find out what is rim. M E D. Rim. Rimmed. Rhyme. Uh, past tense is rimmed. Cover an object with hoarfrost. Really? With hoarfrost? Whoa. Whoa. That is actually. It's also an archaic spelling of rhyme. It is. <laughs> but, but it's but specifically. I'm like, so we're being redundant then, because we're saying rimmed is with frost, with frost. Everything is cold, the jars and counters. So cover an object with hoarfrost, is that spell, is rimmed so that way. So that rhyme. is super redundant, actually. And it is rhyme, R-I-M-E, because they have yeah. a long I. So this is rhymed with frost, it's that's, redundant. That's rhymed completely... is literally covered with frost. Yeah, like, so, you guys, that was unnecessary. And if you wanted to use a cool esoteric word, you could say everything is cold, the jars and counters rhymed. Yeah. Like, uh, and just, which is just covered with hoarfrost. Because oh. they've used a couple of other esoteric words. But for me, I'm going, why can't it be your shop if everything's cold? Is it only ever warm in Vesuvia, period? Are we in like a, a place that doesn't I get winter? I have no idea. Or is it that you can't have frost indoors because the heat is always on? Because it would mean the, the salamander, salamander would have died. Or he's gone. Or he's gone. He's gone. Let's go with gone. Stove salamander. No dead salamanders. Hey, baby. I... But most importantly, more important than this not being my shop, I'm awake. Everything is solid, crisp, and real. They seem like a weird contrast. They didn't make much sense. This is not my shop, but I am awake. Which is more important than this not being my shop. I don't... I, how are those things equivalent or... Because I've just been having a really bad dream that wasn't even my dream. Mm. And more, and I go, this isn't my shop, but more important than this not being my shop, I'm in reality again. I... Does that make sense? Kind of. Okay. But I, I don't but know. But that's it's... this nerd's priority list of going, yeah. being out of the dream is the most important thing to me I right now. you mean we're even out of the dream. Uh, nerd is the magical one with the magical sensory, with the combined with their regular sensory, so I have to trust them. I'm assuming they'll even tell us. <laughs> if they will tell us at all. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, um, everything is solid, crisp, and real. Julian is next to me, slumped against the counter. He groans weakly. <laughs> Have I finally gone through my actual door? I, I, he groans him. weakly. He's exhausted from the ordeal. Uh, I have worn him out. <laughs> nerd. I knew you weren't really good enough for me. Nerd. Oh, nerd is never that assertive. <laughs> no. <laughs> nerd being like, what happened? I thought that was how you do the do. Well, then I, I will am, die. I am flattened from enthusiasm. Splatted up against the pie. <laughs> right up against that counter. I'm gonna die. I will die. No one has ever, ever. Wow. I, I. Astra. What? What? <laughs> you are I, saying that that I didn't teach them that. Talk. I. That was not me. Hi, Julian. I. The implications of you saying that suggest that. I'm glad you didn't. No. Uh, wait, what? Wait, you taught them about... <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what? I, wait. Also, at the same time, too, sometimes I love it where it's just that idea of going, if you don't have a lot of preconceived ideas of what the do the do looks like, you really are like, I just kind of kept going, and whatever we did, we just kind of did it. It was fun. People are like, oh my god, but you went for so long, you go... Did I? Huh? I thought it just was nice. So for me, in, in real life, the uh, first boyfriend that I ever made out with most... Like, like the makeout sessions were usually like three to five hours long. 
Yeah. And I heard that I understood that that was not normal later. Um, <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. Whoops. As I got, you know, other boyfriends and more disappointment, I guess. And more. But there we are. They weren't disappointing because they couldn't make out for so long. No. It was, just other, it was other combined experiences that resulted in we're not interested enough in each other to stay involved for that long. But anyway. Yeah. Slumped. He groans weakly. Olian? His eyes fly open, and he bolts upright and cracks his head on a shelf because he's really tall in my shop. Just... <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 Holding his head. Oh! Yeah, he he just... forward going, oh god, my head! I will not stand up as high because oh! And to cap my cheeks in his hands, studying my face intensely. The relief in his face is nearly... Painful, I think. I think I have to interpret his feelings filtered through my fe- my my awareness of his feelings and what I think those mean. But the relief on his face is nearly painful to me. Uh, it's you. It's really you. You hit my fucking head. <laughs> you. You. Ow. I, God. Um, ow. Are you okay? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. I. <laughs> His voice breaks on the last word. He's clearly also in a lot of pain. I want to touch his head, but I also don't. I start fumbling towards the frozen herbs nearby that will help him. He's trembling all over for more than just the cold. Yeah, the pain in his head. Are you bleeding? Oh, God. I don't care. It's you. Fuck my head. Let's let's sit you down again. No. One more time. I won't leave. I'll stay right here. No. Scoots into his lap. So he's sitting down and now starts to set up and breathe. Reaches fuck. out with magic to pull over something to make a poultice and stick it on his head. Ow! Pep. <laughs> so sting just a tiny bit, bonk. Oh my god, ow! Oh! Okay, but now it should be getting better. Ah! My magic floods through him, soothing Why the intense is that pain. Because everything in the shop is oh, cold. Oh, I got a. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Um, for more. Sorry. You're trembling for more than just it's... cold. Does that help? I. Hold him? I'm here. Oh, God. I... <laughs> oh, my... Jesus Christ, I... Jesus Christ on a crutch. Jesus uh, Christ on a pogo stick. Uh, all right, well... Um... So, okay, so let me let me think about this. So he stands up. We've only sat up. So he has shot up to standing, and if we ignore our headcanon of him cracking his head on a rafter or a shelf, <laughs> um, he's just standing there, staring down at us, us sitting on the floor. We've taken off the rafter, he's but leaning we've all up. the way down. Or he's not leaning down. He's just, he did. He kept our face. He did. So he's folded himself in half to get to our sitting form, and he's holding our face. Yep. So we would have to, like, stand up into his, like, his face hold, <laughs> and then reach out and hold him, or we'd have to pull him down to us and hold. He's already holding us, and I'm not sure how holding. I'm not sure if we would think of hold him, based on he is towering over us, bent down, bent in half, gently holding our face, trembling all over. The hold him would look like wrapping our hands around his arm, our arms around his knees suddenly, but his knees would be like bent towards us, and his torso would be in the way because he's leaned over towards us. So we'd be kind of like reaching onto his arms, okay. sort of up towards his face. I gotta stop you for two seconds, because something just occurred to me. So oh if we do mm-hmm. this this paid scene, guys, right. and this is even for you, it occurs to me, we don't know where this ends. Yeah. So doing our new method of not saying the lines, where do we end? Well, we'll have to, um, oh god. Well, we would have to look up the end of this first. Oh, shit. You Are we going to need to actually do some research and, and basically, like, ruin part of this for ourselves? We might have to. We might have to find out. Well, so the thing is, is you don't have to uh, ruin the paid scene. So Nick no, no, and Andrew's official playthrough. Yeah, I know. They skipped over all they, of them. So they show you where it comes back into reality by right. showing you what the last line is. So, uh, uh like, we'll Hold still... on for just a moment. We're going to discuss this. Hold, hold your horses. Okay, so, um... We, we think we have an idea, without spoiling what's in contained in here at all, um, what you're basically about where it ends, but we think that, that nerd being like, this has been an ordeal, and this has been frustrating and, and overwhelming, and he's holding us, would just hold him back. Yeah. Like, the logistics may be super awkward of us just sort of reaching up his arms and putting our arms on his arms, 
pop, because that's like the, him reaching down with his arms and, you know, to our face. Yeah. It, it, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Hold him. Yeah. All right. I, I stand up, I guess. I drag his arms down closer to me. Yep. He crumples to the floor because he loses his balance. Okay. So basically what happens is I, I, I try to figure out how to... How to get a hold of him. Because <laughs> he's a do, very tall boy. To do this holding thing. And what I'm picturing here is that I just like sort of pull him down further and further and further and further uh-huh. until he sort of loses his balance and falls. <laughs> That's what I'm picturing oh, here. I got it. All right. I, yes, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> So the then, noise ah, crushing you extensively. Yes. So there is definitely a level of, of us being very squishy on the floor. That thing of like arms wrapped sixteen times around uh, each other, <laughs> which I'm I'm very that's that's adorable. Uh-huh. And and nerd seems very excited about the experience. It is it is soothing. I I as specifics of cuddling. Good. As I say, uh, the very specifics of cuddling. Once, when you've just shoved yourself against the other person, you're like, oh, they smell nice. You know what hasn't been revisited in this game for a long time? Mm-hmm. How everybody and everything smells at all times everywhere? I. It is a trope that I have found to be hilarious. It was a thing that happened for a while, and it seems like it was dropped. I. Well, you know, the romantic trope. I think about constantly what you smell like, and I wear your clothes, and it smells like anyway, you. Anyway, I have this thing. And it's we are like- very, very happy that Julian feels like genuine Julian. That's what's going on in this bit. Yep. His, and yeah. it, it is a level of going, I will just mush my body into his and appreciate how sturdy or like real he feels. Yes. I I say words at you. <laughs> it's really important that you understand that I appreciate this so much. The, 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 the entire like how like grunt oh. The resolution? The resolution has come about where we're like together and you're okay. I love that bit. Like, you really are and I'm gonna turn into a whoop. It's fine. I'm so sad. I'm like so delighted that you are okay. You seem very relieved. I, there's, there's a level of him just expressing his relief really strongly while wrapped in my arms yeah and it's a it's a physical expression of relief he, he I a lot like jello want to say J-E. he's crying but you know the game doesn't say he's crying but it really sounds like he's crying without tears and without crying because I, for some reason they don't seem to like him to cry much like i got i'm very still very proud that they actually made him cry they did like that was I, pretty impressive i felt like the tear was incredibly structured though compared to like pasha's blue little, little, little ghibli tears i know there was a lot of the experience I... of going pasha is like i will do the big wet messy cry it looks great oh look we're back to taking care of him again it's okay oh this Cause... is so, so nerd's gonna go into um care caretaking mode and make sure that Julian knows that that we've got this. And yeah. by that, it's more like a you are okay. What are the comfort words? <laughs> I comfort. I do the comfort. I will I do the comfort pet. actions and the comfort words. I and yep, I, see? Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna, comfort. I'm gonna remind what you need to understand, Julian, is that things that happened a little bit ago are done now and don't exist anymore. And that means it's all right. And that means that everything from here on out is going to be like sunshine and rainbows. And I am an authority on such things, having never traveled the astral planes ever, ever. because my dad wouldn't take me outside. Yeah. Um, but I know about this, so it's, it's going to be fine. Fine. You're going to be fine. I I'm am fine. fine and you will be fine. We're all fine. Um, I, it was all made up after all. You should understand that this was a subconscious experience in an altered state of consciousness oh. and thereby is not the, the solid place that we are sitting now that is actually tangible and credible. This is so funny to talk around this. It is hilarious. I, we're just going to synonym everything into we the will. floor. It's fine. We got it. It's, it's great. Hi. I, I, and then he will jiggle a lot, like Jello. And he will make a weird, a little peeping, little face coming up, going poo. Part of me wants to be like he—he 
he mimics having Parkinson's continually throughout the whole scene. Instead of crying, uh -huh. he just mimics having the jigglies. He just vibrates constantly <laughs> the whole way through the scene. That's fine. But every possible synonym for it uh -huh. is there. Uh -huh. He just sat at a vibration platform and he just the whole time just... It was blah, blah. a gamer chair, don't you know? Oh my god. <laughs> But but there's then, a level of of removing his, his buried experience into me. Yes. So that his eyeballs can function to take in my my countenance again. Yes. Perfect. Hi. Uh, oh no. Hey, you are also experiencing a thing that I experienced. That was a made up experience. That was a brain space experience. That was horrible and awful. You might even say nightmarish. You mean? That subconscious experience that we just had that might have actually been something in a completely other state of reality or an other plane, but is now suggested to have been inside of our heads instead and wasn't actually traveling to another realm, but was just being inside of our consciousness in a different level? While we were asleep? I also did have that experience, <laughs> Julian. Oi! Perfect! You want to understand me completely then with the bad feeling. <laughs> with all of the... The, the no good bad touch. You really could just say unfortunate dreams. The real negative dreams. These dreams were such a downer. God, they, they were really, they were downer dreams. Uh huh. I, I agree with him and I continue to pet the boy. Pet oh, I'm just gonna pet the this boy. whole scene. Wow, wow. Is him just like shivering violently and us administering head pets. <laughs> that head is what. Head pets, ooh woo. Head pets, ooh woo. <laughs> and I'm going, I can't ooh woo too hard because I might cry if I do. No. That is what I'm getting from this scene. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, much. I. Ah. Uh, well, now I need to know a thing because I'm a little awkward for some reason. But it's like a thing you could do. It's a possibility out there in the abyss. This is where I'm going. <laughs> so nerd. But don't feel obligated. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, do it's important, but it's not that important. But it might not be important. What it is is like, I'm gonna express that I have interest in some some piece of information that you have that I might like to have, but you're not obligated to give it to me. No, 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 no it's, it's under no obligation. None whatsoever. Ah. Uh, uh, and then there's an option for us to choose answer him. Or not answer him. I all right. Nerd is a doormat. Nerd would probably say. So like, nerd explain would the just situation. describe their experience. I'm also so, like, why would you want to hide that anyway? Because some of it is being like, I want to have some level. It's of like, not hiding it. This is I'm too traumatized uh, to tell you what we're so, supposed. I think what that whole thing that just happened in the dungeon and Lin Lucio's bedroom. And when I say that whole thing that just happened in Lucio's bedroom, it sounds like a whole other context. Hi, the dungeon to the bedroom. Hi, we really did. We took the three of us for the dungeon up to the bedroom. I am a man of particular taste. Uh, <laughs> and it was a red room. <laughs> Lucio is a man of very particular, particular taste. taste. Mr. Gray. Hi, Mr. Mr. Duke. Mr. Oh my god. Alright, so I think what it's supposed to imply here between these two choices, when um, Julian has inquired after a piece of information, yes. is that uh, we either are so traumatized and uncomfortable by that whole experience that if we were to speak of it again or to describe it, it would be too much for our poor little heart to handle. Yes. And that if we do describe it, it means we are okay and have more fortitude. But I've never connected to nerd being real, like, panic attack and heart racing and passing out at the very idea that I might remember something sad. Or like the scream building inside of yourself when you realize that you died in the past and live again and then it's all over. Like that I've never connected I didn't, to. I never got it either. So, so. I don't think for, for the, the sake of RMC that that is the case. So we're just gonna, we're gonna talk to him about it. Why also... Nerd has been advocating for communication the entire, entire game. So, like, we're going to talk about this thing. Yeah, why not? We're going to talk about the place that we've been in and how there were people and everybody was sick and, you know. We're going to describe a pandemic <laughs> and the lonely experience of being isolated at the center of it. Yes, and it was wild and a swirling experience. And since we've gotten through that experience, 
of being in a literal pandemic and the horrible destruction, you know, that it wrought when you don't take proper precautions and, you know, wear your masks and <laughs> all, uh, such things, um, that the, the details are no longer available to us, despite having agreed to tell them to him. You know, with the really bad, unhappy dreams. Yes. Yeah. So I describe that while I'm totally willing to tell him, I no longer have the ability to because the information has left me. It's starting to go whoop. Aye. Poosh. Hi. Um, I do describe, however... Um, as much as I can recall in a sort of roundabout, like, a narrative way. kind of sense. A narrative kind of sense. I basically give it to him like, you it's know... It's just sort of an experience that happened over there. Yeah, like like an epic tale. Yeah. There were things that I, I pretend am not, I'm Homer for five seconds. I am not connected to, nor do I have feelings about, and I don't know the details anymore, but I'll give you the, the, the story theatrical gist. Yeah, like, like, like it was, you know, a play. All right. Um, Hi. So eventually, he he stops vibrating. Oh, good. It happens because you know you're done with the entire. I have. Day. I have finished my discourse. Yep. And it makes him stop having the shiver shivers. The jitterbugs. I um, but but like there's it takes Either. him a little bit of time to process this yeah, experience. Hi. Yeah, and he's like, I I had an experience also. In the not waking hours when I was doing the sleepy thing, and I, it was an experience about, you know, clouds in the sky Some coming together and weather that was really bad and intense. So you're and saying that you're more interesting when you're awake, because when you're asleep, you're literally like, let's talk about the weather. Let's talk about the weather, baby. <laughs> let's talk about you and me. I. I, the thing he mentioned I, with the clouds. That we actually don't It know, makes me pay more attention to him for a it moment. It piques my interest because perhaps I doeth knoweth not the thingeth. And perhaps I wish to know more about it. I, there's a thing. You are correct. I have never mentioned before. It was about me and my sibling that was a mess. And it was years ago when we were on a boat and it slammed into the side and it was a huge mess. And it was what you might call something that I can't say, but it was the end of the ship, basically. So if you take a boat and you smash it against something, it, That's what it turns happened. into a compound word. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, it was horrible. It was an entire experience of clouds that dominated that everyone just would talk about for a hundred years ah. being the biggest of the bigs. So what we're really going to do is say, it was Hurricane Katrina. Ah. <laughs> Hurricane Tortilla. Ah. 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 So he proceeds to describe uh, Hurricane Katrina and an experience of being out on the sea, which he loves to be. Yes, of course. we don't know about because he's told us very little about his life just to be honest but it was fine because you know what nothing up we we didn't do the dying thing <laughs> and it was fantastic we just ended up on the beach somewhere back in home. a place back home and you know the rest of it as they say is a place that was in the past <laughs> the rest of it is all past the rest of it is all past i was gonna say and the thing is is it's like there's this really strong experience here of him being like, so I never told you. It's like, you haven't told us most of anything about yeah, yourself. Yeah, you really haven't. Ever. But there's this experience also of going, this big dramatic thing out there with a hurricane. And then I landed at home. It was amazing. And when he says, though, that basically, and then, you know, it's all cataloged in the past, basically. Uh-huh. Going, okay, well, we have no connection to this. So when you say that bit that sums it all up, do you mean that now I know what happened from there? Because what happened from when you landed in your hometown was you walked into my shop in Vesuvia? I honestly, though, I am also confused just on a level of going, what has this got to do with anything? This is just more background filler information of going, here, let's talk to you more about Julian's past. This sounds more like him deflecting still, like another uh, snowball fight. Yeah. Like another level of, I don't want to talk about what's going on, so I'm going to focus on other things. But I honestly don't know. It could have been a thing that he had the sleepy time, you know, experience about. I'm not sure. Here it is. See? Okay, so I, uh, like, like, Nerd wants to keep digging into this sharing experience that he's describing and going, 
We know almost nothing about you. We could learn more. But then acknowledging there's other bigger stuff going on, such as, you know, we're actually dead right now, unless we've actually got our bodies back right now. So what it seems like is still dead right now. So we should probably just continue moving forward. But also at the same time, Julian a, seems to not be done. Seems like he's just paused for a moment. Yeah. Oh. I, oh. But you know what happened in the sleepy times is that it was even worse than, than I remember. Like, it was so bad. I lost the person that I cared about, was the only person I was supposed to be taking care of, my sibling. And then I was by myself. And it sucked in the yep. grainy place where it all got in my pants. And um, it was terrible. And it was like sand. a. It was sand. And it itches. And, and, and it, it gets, gets everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> And it was a time of an experience, but I was by myself and it sucked. It was no good to be was... alone. So in the real life, I was not alone, but in, in this experience that was manufactured for me, I was. Yes. I, I spent all my time in trying to do the searchy thing and trying to figure out where I was, but I couldn't find anything. What I was trying to do was locate the person I had lost, Yeah, it just wasn't working. It wasn't what had happened. I... Uh, but then I went to the palace, I'm sure, but everything was empty and it sucked! Like it was all just, you know, like plants everywhere and there was just, you know, beetles and bugs and everything was just falling apart! And then I just, I went in through the front door and I ended up somewhere else where it was dark and Where red, usually like Valdemar works! But yeah, Valdemar's place, man, it was really weird. Oh you know, wait! The magic place! It's the place that I got hired to work after I left my own clinic! Right! You know, for the entire duration of the plague, except I can't decide whether I was there or I was at the office, who cares though? The whole yeah. experience where I've described that I've had a clinic over here and then I was working with a group of at least 68 other doctors. Yeah, at least 68. At least 68 um, other doctors! Unless somebody here was really kinky and they just wanted to do number 69, so they jump around a lot to their favorite numbers. Or he is the only literal doctor they hired and they just, 69, ha ha ha! Valdemar has a kinky sense of humor, you did not know. You didn't know. No, I... It was a time. And, and then, then suddenly he was there, and then he was unable to describe in any more detail without continuing to, without catching his, like, the composure. He's trying to regain his composure to continue this story yep. that he's describing, that we said that we were there for, and also had with him. And it's really taken a toll on him. I... Yep. And then, like... I was a tight. I swear there was like you and you were dead, but I, there was an experience where I had the vision that perhaps it was you. It was you, but you know, at the time when we came to the stopping point of the whole bit, like I thought perhaps I, like... I, I made up my, an experience about that. I maybe, maybe perhaps it was. I thought genuine nerd was in front of me, I, but I was not sure. Not, not exactly. I. Um, no, I think you pegged genuine correctly. Oh. I, oh. so, him going, I really thought that I, I perceived, you know, you. the love interest in this game called Nerd. And we, and the Nerd is like, you did. <laughs> My Correct boy. perception. Yay. Well done. And then, and then he's going to giggle a bit. And but, then, you know. Pap at his face. I'm going to be because he's doing the teary why. Face. He is, like, it is described over and over again, much as it did in Lucio's room, he's essentially cleaning his face, but I don't know why he's cleaning his face. Because, like, is he trying to get the snow off it here, trying to get the ash off it there? He wasn't demonstrated as crying in either of those scenes when the face cleaning happened. Right. So I'm not sure what they're going for. But he perks up a little bit, cleans his face again. Hey, and, and then he's just, like, very sad, and he's just going, like, oh! Just I guess we can't escape that experience that just keeps happening over and over again. Seems like it's just repeating itself. Yeah, just History a bit. History might be repeating itself. Just a bit, you know, like... And then I need to know... What exactly was your experience? Was your experience then? How, how much of that was actually a part of your perception of the incident, hmm? I... And then I... Uh, nerd, assuming that our experiences were the same, and that... While he was over there and I was perceiving him, that we, we were in Baltimore's bedroom. <laughs> that we were not having separate experiences. I will describe to him that the two locations that we ourselves, the players, saw 
were in fact the locations that we saw. Aha! Uh -huh, wait, we know one of which, which clearly has to be Valdemar's red bedroom, and then the other one was a part of Jersey, you know, MAGA hat wearing boy playroom. Playroom. Oh my God. <laughs> It's okay, there's all kinds of tools down here. Mm. What kind of tools? Ah, oh, that's a bone saw! <laughs> I promise! <laughs> I swear! <laughs> I swear. What's this one for? Oh, that's a scapula! I tell you! I, I promise! It's a specula! Yep, totally! Uh, uh, I was picking up sex toys and I'm going, No, but it's no, a physical tool! I swear to God, that is a flay! That is a, a tool of science! Science tool! And then we're just very apologetic, I see. You know, then, we tried so hard to it get him to so understand! Far, and in the end, end, it didn't even matter! Yes! yes. We just turn into Lincoln Park as we, we try really and cover did. him. It's trying okay. to explain this one. All right, the next one. And then he's just like, you know, I forgive you. You know eventually, what? Eventually, I perceived the same thing you did. Eventually, on by my own lonesome self. I didn't need anybody's help. I got it on my own. That's the yes. That <laughs> is a nose. <laughs> noses! I swear to God, it's noses! Uh, and then, you know, but I have to admit, there was an experience that I, it occurs to me, that I think about the past me, that I know that it basically would have never happened, that I would have been able to figure it out. That I wouldn't have been in bondage with my own experience. I would have been unbondaged. That sounds like a familiar term. No! <laughs> Yet! <laughs> Throwing out Shibari in that oh, way. Bye! Bye! But, bye. but it would have been, you know, back in the past, even before we actually had a past. Yeah! Before our original past. I. At least that's what it sounds like he's saying. And I will, like, discourse for a second there of going, it sounds like he just described that he was thinking about a piece of the past before even we worked in his clinic. Yeah. Um, Like, before he'd ever met us at all, even the first time before we were us this round, before we were, I wonder if we have the same name. I still am. Like when Asra reanimated re an re us yeah. and we didn't remember anything, did he pick the name we used to have as the person we used to be right. or not? Because we clearly aren't that person <clears throat> anymore. Anyway. IDK. Uh, and he says, oh, basically, uh, so the bad. people that were there, the puppets, the experience of the fake people, but like he is in too much, my friend. I I what the fake <laughs> people? I know. I like I have an approximate idea of the location they might have. When they when they made noises. When they made noises with their flappy holes at me. I, I think I have heard them before. It Perhaps. reminded me of something I know. I had an experience, and then I gave a little more of a cry. Because it makes me so sad I'm like, to know why that... aren't the tears all along the base of his eyes? Why aren't they just pouring out? Why is it this very structured little single tear? <laughs> and then one sort of bubbling up really awkwardly past his nose on the other side. It's fine. Like, that's a strong experience of a lot of tear gathering over there. I'm like, does the red affect your mucosa membrane? And how you produce, like, tears in your tear ducts? Uh, we don't know, honestly. But, okay, so, um... It is basically, it sounded like a bunch of shitty negative self-talk. And it I was very myself. convincing. Yeah, I had it. Like, that was me all over again, farting up my own ass the entire time. Well, I, I continue petting him, because that's very important. When Julians are sad, you must pet them. Yeah. Uh, this is less of a cuddle and hug than it is just a therapy pet, set. pet, 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 pet. Therapy pet. petting session. Therapy. This, is, this is a lot of gentle petting. Just pets. Uh, and we, we now, this time, are going to clean his face. Yeah. Because there was, there was um, actual dampness. The actual moistness in moistness. his eyes. He was moist, and we removed the moisture. And then the way that his face crinkles up, it's very honest. He it's very pure, too good for this world. As though he's becoming less sad. Yes. And then he's just like... Oh, and he acknowledges change. Oh, he's like, yep, time has passed. Exactly three of the time has gone by, and I am no longer that experience. I have grown. I, I have, am amazing. You mean you've you've had memories develop in, you know, 
the amount of time since I was brought back to life? I, yeah, it was amazing. I just let them walk on by and they, they just, you know, moved on and I became something else too. I see. Well, it's good to acknowledge that you have experienced some amount of progress and difference in yourself. Yes. And that you know the source of that difference, Which, even if that source wasn't be... there for most of it. Yeah, I'm so grateful to you, despite the fact that you aren't there. Yeah, for this whole amount of time, other than I didn't know you at all. I influenced your positive, you know, growth. Yeah, it's great. Oh, I have to. I'm so grateful to you. We have to have a Small. lot of gratitude. <laughs> in so, here. so you guys, I apologize. We're dragging this out a little long because, but I don't want us to have split this up between two different episodes. episodes. So yeah, I say. Anyway, so um, bonk your faces together. Oh, I was whacking. Faces? Oh yeah, faces. All right. Okay. Hi. And uh, we're gonna breathe we, each other's of us, air. I would say we're gonna we're gonna turn into a Pokemon and trainer, and we're gonna just sort of breathe in unison <laughs> in time. We're gonna yep. just breathe in time with each other. And our eyelids are gonna come down, and it's gonna be very romantic and, and cute. Relaxing. We lean against very each relaxing. other. Very relaxing. Yep. And then there's a level of just like cuddle and silence. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. And then, and then it, I can now, feel through your clothing still this experience of your heart of, trying to break out of your thump, chest thump, as thump, it starts to chill. Thump, 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 the doki start thump, relaxing thump, a lot. Thump, and then thump, I guess he passes out for a second. We don't know. <laughs> but you know, there's there's a there's a sort of bringing to life slowly there's with evanescence. Slight, yes, in the extreme quietude that had developed, uh -huh. in the massive relaxation where we both suddenly turned into affectionate jello on the floor, yeah, pretty then much. Then there, there's a level of returning to the body. And then there will be some sort of... Inquiry. Inquiry and noises. I... Oh. And then, oh, I'm, I have to tell you that I am very grateful and that I need to know how you are, actually. Like, it's very important. Uh, like because I'm so I glad feel... that you have been revived in your experience of emotions. I feel like I've returned and to myself. moved to the positive spectrum of emotional experience. Yep. And I will um, then not describe to you that I am having a pretty exhausted experience, but not quite as like clinically exhausted as it could be. Yeah, uh, you're not doing the vibration game that he's doing. And then I will confirm that my assessment <laughs> of myself is not something to worry about. Yeah, pretty much. All right, there we go. This Aye. is back. I is this where we're back? Yes. Oh, God. You gotta trust me on this one. This okay. is actually it. All right, so you want me to actually read it? Yes, please read I'm terrified. Then we, um, we should probably figure out where we are. I mean, but you know what? We're gonna have to figure out where we are in the next one. We are Woo! Going to, so um that was a little more challenging than it was when we did like the one for um the updated prologue. Uh, maybe because we're just so used to voicing these characters. Probably. But we will try and get a little bit smoother about it. If you as the viewer want to weigh in on your preference, like I don't want to volunteer myself for a ton more editing, but if you find the other experience to be smoother, um, we are totally willing to read the dialogue and cut it out. Um, but like this, we, we thought we would give this a try, and it was funny. It was Honestly? definitely funny, but I'm concerned that a couple of times we might have gotten too close to what was actually said. I, so I, I don't know. Though honestly, also at the same time too, I, I, for me, I'm just kind of like, oh, come on. Like, but that's me. It I is that level of going... We don't know why it's so important to preserve the paid scene. So while we are sticking with the agreement of the developer for their own game, which is appropriate to do, it, there's a level of investment and connection of going, but why is this the only thing you care about? And why would people not be interested in even choosing different choices inside of those scenes and thereby be encouraged to play the game if they are not, you know, if they're having fun with us? Because there are so many different options in this game, even if they don't change the main story so much. We found that the gamer experience says that you want to read all of the dialogue, ultimately. Yeah. And you want to know what all of the options look like. Like the character experience is, I'm going to see what they would choose, what they would do, or whomstever it is I'm playing 
playing. I want them to behave as themselves. But the gamer experience is I need to know every possible bit of dialogue that you wrote for this entire game ever, and all the possible scenes that I could ferret out. Yes. Which is actually also really interesting, because when we've done some editing, so just so you guys know some behind-the-scenes stuff, we've also found it to be really fascinating, because apparently we've been the weird ones who have picked options that other people really aggressively don't pick. There's been a number of times where I've tried to find out what... Uh, basically keep track of what the dialogue in the paid scene is and what to remove and I can't actually find a sample of someone else choosing the same um, path that we did and it doesn't mean people aren't choosing it it's just that they aren't sharing it online then but again it's been really helpful to have everyone catalog so much of this online um, so I can look it up because otherwise I have to have the video playing on the same device as the thing I'm editing on instead of like looking at something that screen caps which is yeah. much much easier and more comfortable it's it's so much more helpful with the editing yes I was to say I'm not gonna credit anyone specifically because I don't want like to send any you know retribution down upon their head but it's easy enough to find the stuff Yes. Um, and it, it has been very, very simple to go, I need this, but then to go the half of the scene after we make a choice as nerd goes in a completely different direction when, you know, the other resources that I found make a different choice. Yes, which is always entertaining, to be perfectly honest. So, um, thank you very much, though, guys, for joining us. We hope you appreciate this 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 fun time of us trying to figure out. And again, uh, if you have any... to shoot ourselves in the foot. Yeah, it's, it's a time, I have uh -huh. to tell you. And... We can play the semantic game a lot. So here we are. But if you like what we do, though, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also please feel free to share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Uh, please also feel free to uh, go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. And other than that, I have been Scandal. We'll just play the synonym game hardcore. Uh, and I have been Lies. And, and it was, was great, great playing with you. Bye! Bye.